One of my favorite is from Fresh Time. Look at that. Fresh Time, guys. You have to get in some Fresh Time in it. It's amazing to be in the kitchen with you guys today. It is fantastic. I do love you so much and that's why I want to give you this recipe. I know you guys are going to love this because it's just an amazing, you know, I'm always giving you different kind of recipes. You know it. I give you some of the most beautiful recipe for you guys to make at home. I'm always have to give back something to you because guys, you love me so much and I love you too. And you know what I mean? I give you juice, you give you meat free Monday and all different kind of healthy recipe for you to work with at home to look after yourself. Every night we do now to do a healthy tea recipe. So stay tuned in with this beautiful and an amazing healthy tea recipe we've been doing every other night. We do high blood pressure, you name it. So do not miss this one and just remember also we are here to fill some of the gap with you guys. So if you missed the videos, remember the video right there you guys can watch and stay tuned in with Chef Ricardo. Thank you so much for all of that beautiful love. And now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna deliver on an amazing recipe to you for you to make at home. So stay tuned in and let's do this too. Yeah. So let's jump straight to it. And we have the cabbage. We're gonna be showing you some little chips. What you can do. What a bit of cabbage. So you don't wanna cut the cabbage. chunky all right you don't want to cut the cabbage like really chunky yeah so So you guys can see that's the cabbage right there which i'm cutting up at the moment this is the cabbage <laughs> we cut up all right i'm going to be doing it step by step recipe that you guys can understand what's going on right here now is that about the most important part is this recipe the cabbage and the tuna so let's do this together medium sized carrot all right We're going to um, julienne up some carrot. All right. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video like this is because a lot of people are saying they don't see me cook, but I'm going to tell you I do cook. Trust me. Um, that's why I'm sharing it from start to finish. All right. Then what we're going to do? Simple. Julian up some carrot like this okay I still got my techniques same way so that's a beautiful carrot right here okay don't get me wrong you can mix carrot with pepper all right so we're gonna be using up some peppers inside of it all right, I think one side of this pepper was a little bit dodgy. Okay, lovely. All right. So we're gonna put some peppers inside of it. Lovely. See that? So that's our pepper right there. All right. Um, we've got some some of your favorite spring onion. Yeah, 
spring onion is a must in cooking. All right. Lovely. All right. So that's the spring onion. All right. So that's a part of the vegetable right here, but we still need to get one of our favorites inside of it. Which we're going to also need. Like, um, all right. Tomato. Some tomato inside of it. Tomato is very important in your cooking. At home. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the tomato separately. And I'm going to show you a few tips what you guys need to do. Tomato is very healthy and very good for you. So this is a tomato. Put that one side. All right. We're going to get our favorite now. Which is um, all right here it is white onion okay very good to use a white onion in our cooking also all right. Yeah, good five. So that's white onion. I'm gonna use. So when I cut a white onion, I like to just use everything. I don't like to cook and leave back piece of it. I like to just use up everything. All right, lots of vegetables. Perfect. That's what we need. And we need our secret garlic. All right. And garlic is a must if you're cooking certain kind of food. You have to have this inside of it. Um, garlic. All right. Yeah, man. Squeeze out the garlic. Just like this. Yeah, this garlic press is one of the best. I'm going to give away at least 100 garlic press in this Christmas period. If you are in London, you will get one of them, but the overseas one, I'd have to try and work on it because I got a lot of ardents overseas also, yeah. All right, so here it is. The, this garlic press, I have bought 100 garlic press. This is how it stay, and I will be giving away 100 of them to 100 customer who supporting Chef Ricardo cooking. Just remember, keep your eyes open out for this garlic press. All right, yeah, man, I got a whole heap of them. I will be giving them away for free. You don't need to pay. I repeat, you do not need to pay anything you will be getting one of this for free keep tuning to the giveaway for christmas season is coming up soon keep watching so we remove the skin cut them up into half we're gonna wash them and we're going to cook them so let's see this one yeah all right now this is one of the best food you should be eating not the white potato. White potato full of too much starch and it's slow down you and it make you sleepy sleepy, make you feel tired and make you feel stressed. Now, a lot of people who are suffering from anxiety and stress and the simple little thing get you upset or, you know what I mean, the simple little thing, then sometimes the kind of food what you are eating, you need to change up your diet into different things to keep you, um, cause I'm gonna say, I need to, Okay, we're going to cook the sweet potato in this one. All right. All right, now. 
sweet potato doesn't take long. I don't even have to need a lot of water in it like this. I think there's a little bit too much water. Well, I know, I know how to manage it. Don't worry. Then we're going to put the sweet potato in it. You don't need any salt and you don't need any sugar or no butter or any honey. You can steam the sweet potato. It's much better and more healthier. But don't stress yourself. Things will be okay. And that's why we are trying to make you guys avoid it. Stress. Let's put this one over here. This will be cooking about 10 minutes. This is a medium sized pot for our stir fry cabbage. What we're going to be doing. Stir fry cabbage won't take too long. It's going to be a simple recipe and you guys are going to love this one. All right. So this is the trick I want to tell you about is put the tomato and the garlic in the pan like this all right that is one of my new trick of cooking at home um a lot of people they use a lot of oil to cook with we're trying to avoid in using a lot of oil if you are trying to cook in a healthy meal then that's different but if you want to if you're not cooking very healthy then then that's gonna be a different thing so a lot of people are gonna say why are you not using oil you don't have to use oil you know guys i'm gonna show you another way how you can do it when you're cooking at home instead of eating the oil even the olive oil you're gonna have to be careful because it build up cholesterol so a lot of people you see here they say oh my cholesterol is high and i can't get it down because they are doing things the wrong way Right. So you can see nothing is not burning because what happened? The tomato will just dissolve into it, building like a sauce. All right. If you are dealing with a very healthy cooking, but if you're not dealing with a healthy cooking, then you're chucking the amount of oil where you wanted it. I did it before many times, but as it goes on, I've been learning more and more in cooking. All right. So what you want to do? Get all of that vegetables, which we just cut up. We got the white onion, we got the peppers, we got the carrot, and just chuck everything in it like this. All right, just like that. Just, just like this. You can see. Mix it up, and what we're gonna do? We're gonna take our little bit of time and steam down this into the pot and you're gonna see a massive difference all right you can see it guys that looking really amazing one of my favorite is from fresh time look at that fresh time guys you have to get in some fresh time in it Excellent. So let's tin all that. People don't know. I do not use tuna. I'm using the tin one, but I don't use the one in the oil. I prefer to use the one in the water. Water tuna is the best to use, guys. Don't use the one in the oil. Because the one in the oil, it is sunflower oil or what do you call the next oil name again? Corn oil. So you're gonna have to be careful of that. So you can see what I've been doing. Now, what we're gonna do is this. All right, please. Um, let's see what this person said right here. So, all right. Can I, can I use um, breadfruit inside a sweet potato? Yes, that is a very good deal. Please keep up the uh, thank you so much. I'm watching you. Okay, name it. 
sis. Big up yourself. Thank you so much. Breadfruit. Curry breadfruit. We see the people are doing like a team of curry breadfruit. I don't have any oil in it. But now look at this. So you can see this is steaming down properly. Just to make you guys can see what's going on. You see, it's steaming down properly without any oil or anything yet. You understand? So I'm just giving a little bit of heads up. Of things what you can do at home. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add our favorite to it, cabbage. Alright, this is the cabbage. Alright. So you guys can see how we are cooking and I didn't have any eyelet, but we're gonna show you something in the end. Alright. If you are dealing with a healthy cooking, but a lot of people who are struggling with um, cholesterol, they're gonna have to be careful of the cholesterol, all right? So these are ways where you can do and try and avoid the cholesterol if you, are, if you want to, all right? Take your time, fold it in with all of the vegetables. Lovely. All right, now let's talk about seasoning. All right. So I have um, pepper spoon, salt free seasoning, spice fusion. All right. So we're gonna put a little bit inside of it because you don't know a chef Ricardo does not use a lot of seasoning when I'm cooking. This one is a salt free one. All right. Fold that inside of it. Also, I use some of Ringo Vision season. Ringo Vision have a nice season, also, you know. Yeah. You don't know the thing, go. Yeah. For the team. All right. Look at that. That looks amazing and fantastic. All right. Um, little bit of a paprika. You know what I mean? We don't use too much of the paprika. Yeah, just use a little bit. Bring in a little bit of flavor to it. Fold it in. So this is what I like to do. I like to use a little bit of olive oil on it now. All right, and it's gonna give it that beautiful glazes look. I'm using good olive oil. Then, pinch of sea salt, not much. Yeah, now we don't want to the salt thing. All right, little bit of a black pepper. Little bit of black pepper. Look at that. Then what we're gonna do? We're gonna get our favorite now. To um, put a can of tuna inside of it. And I don't know the thing, but
So here it is, and that's the tuna. And this is the one in the water. So we don't use the one in the oil. The one in the oil, red flag, remember that. So mix that tuna inside of it. If you never do this before, you might have wondered. It's just like if you're gonna do corned beef and cabbage, but I don't eat corned beef. So I use tuna. All right. So just to let you know that this is just a little bit of tweaking from a different way of cooking it. All right, let's give it a try and see where we are at the moment. All right. All right, so it tastes good, but a little bit more seasoned. Not too much of this powder season. Keep it slowly. I don't want the powder season to overflow it. And a pinch of sea salt. Alright. And now, we're going to put some of our favorite inside of it. Scotch bonnet pepper. So I use the scissors and cut it. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't want to put this on your board. You're just gonna mess up your board. And then you might put your hand in your eye. Problem. You don't want that. So this is how it look. Alright. Yeah man. This is how it look. And yeah. A good vibes. See? So instead of you use um we we'll call it instead of you use um corn beef, you use tuna. I did this recipe in the Philippines. But I put okra in it and a lot more things. Very good recipe, guys, for you to share. I'll share with you. All right, now, to be honest with you, this is finished. Um, this is finished, our people. We're gonna um, share it up, all right? Yeah. So you can see. All right, lovely, lovely cooking. And what we're gonna do, shear it up, all right? Plate up. All right, we're gonna plate up this beautiful food with you guys, cause it is something different in the evening. Huh? Salt, not upon this one, guys. All right, yeah, cabbage and tuna. I'm telling you, anytime you start cook certain kind of way, your gut does love you. All right, but if you stick on one kind of thing. It's problem you're putting on yourself. Now, this is an 
anytime you start to cook a certain kind of way, honestly, your gut just love you and your body happy. But if you cook a certain kind of way, honestly, you're going to put yourself in problem and stress and all sort of stuff with the body. The more you cook good with your body, is the more you're healthy. All right, so you see all these things, avocado, very, very good. In the cooking, also. Yeah. So you have to do avocado is a must. You see, this is what you're talking about. And it's a simple like a meal, guys. It doesn't complicate it. Yeah. Beautiful, simple, but I'm going to tell you something. When you eat this, honestly, you will enjoy it. All right? Yeah. When you eat this, your stomach will love you. So a lot of people say, yo, Chef Ricardo, you know, cook. Well, I do. But when I cook, I cook some healthy stuff. <laughs> you understand? 95% I do different things. But I do cook a little bit of healthy vegetables, healthy food to keep my audience um, in the way they're supposed to be. A good vibes.